Hello everyone, so now I want to talk about my brushes and hotkeys. So uh, on our PDF, I'll just click on brushes and hotkeys. Uh, so this will show you our number one brush to number nine brush on our keyboard. And uh, it's all very useful. We don't need to adjust the stroke or alpha for all these brushes and we can just leave it at this default settings. So number one brush will add clay build up. So it adds volume. Number two brush will polish or smooth a particular area. Number three brush will add or inflate. Uh, number three brush is inflate brush. It thickens the mesh. Okay, so it, in ZBrush, uh, the software doesn't like it when the it's actually very thin. So you cannot have uh, meshes or planes that is too thin. And you, if you, especially if you do a dyno mesh, you would just uh, make it corrupted or create a lot of holes down there. So uh, it's important to have an inflate brush to just thickens a few areas on your mesh. So just keep that in mind. The software doesn't like it when it's too thin. So even if you're doing something that is uh, thin, you make it a bit thicker first. So later you can really configure how thin you actually want it to be. So this brush will help to solve that issue. That's why it's here. Uh, number four brush is snake hook brush. It's, uh, I'm using this to move the form and to uh, just uh, have a very strong hold of the silhouette to shape whatever we are sculpting. Now five and number six brush is for creating cracks or very thin uh, creases on your mesh. So uh, number five brush dam standard is uh, created by this artist. I believe his name is uh, Damien. That's why it's called a uh, dam standard. And then it, it's, it just subtracts very thinly on the surface. And then number six is kind of the same. It's an off crack brush. This is not a default brush right away. This is one of the very great free brushes that's out there. That's for free. And then the it's kind of the same, these two brushes, except you can see from the alpha is sharper on the edges. So the damn standard brush is just a bit softer. But both are very good for creating cracks and creases in this case. Now seven brush is pinch. So when after you created a crack Maybe at the ends you want it to be thinner and uh, you want to pinch it a little bit so that uh, you can make the form a little bit better so you can squeeze the form. Um, eight brush, uh, this I'm using it to create and accurately drag out um, alphas or texture image one at a time. So the, uh, the stroke of it is actually on a drag rectangle and uh, it's actually very useful for us to just control the alpha that is being applied on the surface. So that's the point of this brush over here. Now nine brush we will just uh, helps you to trim away a surface along a line. So it helps you to cut away like this. So if you just cut like this, you will cut away this surface. And uh, it's useful for chopping off uh, unwanted parts of your model and to trim the edges. Now, zero brush is to change the poly groups and uh, we haven't talked about poly groups so maybe i don't want to talk about this too much but uh, in the future i'll go into this more but maybe at the start uh, we won't talk about this other brush that is good you can also try using a standard or niche brush which is not bad okay so um i'm going to talk more in the, about theory of brushes because uh, for all this brushes actually i'm going to do an exercise to go through the uses and functions of the first nine brush on the next exercise so I'll, i'm going to do that on the next video actually so uh, now i'll just go through the the information behind the theory of the brushes first okay so uh, if you press or hold down alternate key you can alternate between z n and c sub if you want to change the draw size you press s on your keyboard and uh, also beside your keyboard on the p button there's two brackets here, this one and this one. And uh, if you are familiar with Photoshop painting, you will use this to change your brush size. So uh, it's exactly the same in Photoshop. You're using these two brackets, big and small, to change the brush size. So on your left hand, on your keyboard, you should always be moving around and uh, pressing all these different shortcut keys and uh, pressing S or holding space. Holding space will pop up this whole menu and you are able to adjust things like uh, focus shift, the uh, Z intensity, the draw size. Okay, so I, maybe I'll just go through this part really quick. So I open a uh, cube over here. I'm just going to press Ctrl D twice so that uh, I created more poly count on our model. And then I'm just going to use my Create VR brush. Okay, so Create VR brush, as you know by default, it adds volume. Okay, Create VR brush adds volume. Okay, so we are just adding volume over here. 
if I were to go down here and then I hold down alternate, I will decrease in volume. Okay, so I'll push it in. So by holding down alternate, we are chewing into the brush and we are doing the opposite of what the brush is meant to do. So if you, that's why I'm saying by alternating between the Z add and Z sub, which is uh, these two buttons over here, we are uh, making the brush do the opposite thing. So just keep that in mind for any of the brushes, we can actually go between Z add and Z sub and let it do the opposite thing, which is fun. Okay, then I can change the intensity here to change how strong I want this uh, button to be. So now you can see it's very soft because I only have a value of two. Okay, just now as mentioned, press S on your keyboard to you change the draw size. So I personally use this very frequently. So uh, I my mouse don't need to go up here to change the draw size all the time. It slows down my work. You know, just so just keep that in mind every time you you memorize the uh, shortcut keys that is useful to you and to your workflow saves you so much time okay so changing your draw size is also very important for various different brushes let me just undo this and then the pressing the bracket keys on the keyboard okay so now i'm pressing the left bracket key now i'm pressing the right bracket key so uh it's also pretty fun you can adjust the draw size by a little bit at a time okay so in theory this is pretty good but um to be honest uh, i don't actually use this as frequent the uh, Reason is I'm when I press S is still faster, so I just press S to change the draw size. Still faster to me. Okay, press space to pop out this menu. So you have this menu over here. Hold down space, and uh, it's so useful. You can change the draw size, you can change the focus shift, you can change the Z intensity. So just now I mentioned Z intensity already and the draw size. Both of it is very useful to change the how your brush is being sculpted. So what is focus shift? Focus shift is uh, this button over here so if you look at my brush right now uh, the inside to the outside so this is like a gradient between these two so this is where it's super hard and this is where it it stops it just the brush just stops here so the inside is 100% and the outside is 0% okay so that's what uh, focus shift is doing and then we are changing the inner circle to adjust how much is the 100%, how much is the 0%. Okay, so if I change my focus shift, focus shift to maximum, so you can see it now my focus shift is very, very hard. So on this uh, Create View Art Brush, you can just see that the focus shift is now even harder. The Create View Art Brush is even harder than before. If I were to change this focus shift down to the other side, which is very soft, now my brush is so much softer look at this so because the inner circle the 100 percent uh is much smaller and then there is more areas where it, it just kind of blends between these two the zero and the 100 percent just a small space so so when you change the focus shift you're changing how the uh, brush is being applied on your model as well okay so just keep that in mind it could be useful at times but uh, most of the time, I just like to keep the uh, focus shift at default of uh, this uh, of my brushes. Okay, so uh, more things to take note of. You press B, you can look at all the brushes. Uh, some brushes that is also good. You can uh, use topology brush to recreate topology. Uh, you can use different iron brushes. For example, I give you some hair iron brushes. So you can add hair. You can add the uh, chains. You can add ornaments for rococo brush. And then uh, add into some hard surface, uh, Dynamesh is very useful. Uh, also some wear and tear brushes for dragging out texture and wear and tear on your surfaces. PP brushes, good for poly painting. Okay, so uh, I think that's all for brushes for now. Uh, as mentioned, I will go through all these uh, functions of the nine brush in the next video and when you follow the exercise. All right, so see you then. Bye.